So, Danny, I would say that we're close, right? Sure. Like until I hear the end of this cold open. We're friends. <laughs> yeah. We work together. Mm. You know, sometimes we hang out. Sometimes you're too busy. Most of the time, you're too busy. Um, so. I'd like to think that our friendship has blossomed into this beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Um, but I've also never had a friend who sent me a shirtless mirror selfie with the deuces up. Uh, and that is, it's new uncharted territory for me. I'm excited to see where our friendship goes from here. It's just, I felt as though it was a new, a new area for me to explore with another man as a friend. This is way worse than your original cold open. Yeah, yeah, this is take two for recording the podcast, by the way. Um... What, what do you want from me, Nick? What do you want? I hate your cold opens. I Can love I come my out cold and say opens that? personally. I'm never ready for it. I, it's never, it's always an attack. The day you're ready you're, for it is the day my cold open isn't cold enough. Listen, here's the freezing ice uh, open that Nick is referring to. I sent Nick a picture. What, what caused it? I don't even remember why so, I sent it. Uh, we're talking we, about like, oh, I was like, we're talking about physiques. Well, there's another, there's there's a longer trail to it, actually, than uh, just physiques. Okay. Can I tell a little story? Tell a little story. Okay. So, my girlfriend, uh, love her half to death. Her name's Dorothy. Some of you might have heard of her. Uh, she used to be an incredible color guard athlete. Like, very, like, very in shape. Like, like ran miles every single day. Like, trained all summer long for color guard. And you have to be. Because, like, you got to throw the sabers and march into place. Do you know what color guard is? No, I have it's, no idea what you're talking about. It's like... Only a thing out here. It's not an East Coast thing like, okay. at all. Color guard. Color guard is color guard. Color guard. Okay. Like they like everybody chooses she the color. Enlisted? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, actually, so yeah. Okay. I mean, color guard. They do it in the like the Marines or the Navy. Oh, or something. crazy. So it's like everybody has like flags. It's like marching band, but like way more pretentious. Mm -hmm. And they all have like their cool outfits and they have flags and swords. They throw them in the sky, in, like the sky, and they have fake like guns. They throw up mm -hmm. and they do it in like the Marines or something. They spin the guns and they catch them. Right, you never right. seen that. Yeah. So she competed in that. And it's like really big on the West coast, kind of like men's volleyball. Like doesn't exist out on the East coast. Very much exists out here. So she used to be a really good athlete doing that. And nowadays she doesn't do anything. You and her probably have a At similar, <laughs> you and her probably have a similar amount of steps in a day, like 50 yep. to hundred yeah, steps. Roughly 50. Yeah. yeah like yeah. it's like the trip from the house to the kitchen yeah. or like the bedroom to the kitchen, uh, kitchen to car, car to office, office to car and repeat. So yeah. probably like 200 steps that, maximum. Yeah. That's like triple what I do. Exactly. On the days I eat, like, yeah, it's roughly The 50. days that you yeah, eat. Yeah. The days I decide to eat. Cause those are just sprinkled loosely <laughs> yeah. in throughout the week. God knows whatever will happen. Danny would just be like boiled chicken today. I, gotta, I guess I'll make the I gotta trip. keep my physique. Exactly. Yeah. So Which you've seen now. I have, I've gotten a very good glimpse of it. And I kind of, do I have permission to set up this tank for a little, a I guess so. Here? Yeah, just as long as I want to preface. Blur out the nipples. This is not what a human actually looks like. Because I sent it to you, and you it's it's this picture of me like borderline cosplaying as Gyotaru. Who, who's the demon from Demon Slayer? I once again just love how you say Gyotaru. his name. Gyotaru. Gyotaro, but yeah. Gyotaro. Yeah. It's like borderline I'm cosplaying as him. Like I'm sucking in and my ribs are like I thought that was you flexing. Up. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm pre prefacing and okay. bringing this up. Yep. That's not what I look like regularly. Okay. But nobody <laughs> looks flexing. like what they look like when they're flexing I'm not regularly. Flexing. I'm sucking in. I, that's I'm what a flexing regular is. looking boy. That's that's what fle flexing is. Sucking in. It's That's not true. You're you ever seen the competitions? They're like <laughs> <laughs> But the, I guess, I guess so. It, but it, I'm like two dimensional in this photo. Mm -hmm. I look whack. You're and flat the Stanley. And the, I am flat Danley. And the fact nice. that you didn't draw any attention to it, the fact that you were just like, wow, I've never gotten a shirtless pic from another guy. Which I, I mean, was like, is this the is more important thing. Untrue. I was like, Nick, acknowledge this is a bit right now. I wasn't <laughs> like, oh, let me, let me understand Daniel's physique real quick. I was like, wow. We were talking about physique. Well, we were talking about being athletic. Right. Because Dorothy believes she can still run an eight-minute mile. Uh -huh. So me and Dorothy have a $1,000 bet currently uh -huh. where if Jesus she... Jesus Christ, if, Jiminy. She, if she runs an eight-minute... <laughs> if she runs under an eight-minute mile, I pay her $1,000. If she goes over, she pays me $1,000. Wow. It's big money on the line. <laughs> yeah, so we're making an event money. out of it on Monday, yeah. uh, like either Monday or Sunday. So either the day that this is coming out or the next day, we're going to a public track, all of our friends, and all of our friends are doing like... 
uh, running like challenges either against their friends or significant others. Mm -hmm. And I've already issued a running challenge to you <laughs> in line with this. Yeah. Uh, this is a possible touching grass episode. The boys run the mile because I do cardio all the time. I yeah. work out five days a week. Uh, I can run five miles in about 30 minutes. Okay. You five miles in 30 minutes. I, my best time is five miles in 30 minutes and like in 30 seconds. The only way I'm completing a mile mm -hmm. in, in a day is yeah. if I'm tied to six Huskies. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I'm being dragged yeah. behind a Tacoma. If, if, I, if my upper half post being drawn and quartered, yeah. if that horse just goes for a mile. So that was, so we were like thinking like, oh, maybe Nick tries to run two miles in the time it takes Danny to run one. There's no way you couldn't do a sub 10 mile. I no chance. I can walk a 10 minute mile. No chance. There's Am I doing 10 minute miles? Did you not run the mile when you were in like middle school? When or I was something? in middle school, I had an eight minute mile. Okay. I've a hundred percent slapped two extra minutes on that at least. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's still a 10 minute mile. It's bad. I do truly like roughly 50 steps a day. But the reason we're talking about physique is because you were like, I forget. Because I was saying that people would relate to the boys who run the mile, and you're like, Nick, the everyday man, True. the man who runs <laughs> yeah. a six minute yeah, mile. Exactly. And I was like, I'm sure some people will relate. We definitely have fit fans. And you were like, this is an anime podcast. I bet you yeah. the majority of people are very much closer to me on the spectrum of fitness. Yeah, which I am not. And Nick was like, uh, you, sir, are skinny, but I. this is a facade. This is a facade. This is a sham body. And then it's going to come back to bite me in my 30s. Okay. I eat like. I eat like boiled chicken, boiled chicken. One of and the best like things you can eat personally. Whatever you find in a pig's trough, just people scraps. Okay. Um, Little bits of plastic. You're, yeah, just like, you're like the, the worm that eats microplastic. Yeah, just you're, bits of tin. Like, yeah, just tin shears for teeth. I, I have such a facade of a body, mm -hmm. um, which I shouldn't have. It's called being skinny fat. Yeah. Not to shame you. I, but I like look reasonably like, you know, <laughs> Yeah, I, I work out. I work I've out. I just it. don't do cardio. I've seen. There's a couple of there's, these, there's these a couple are a loose couple, yeah. eh, right there. These come up. These um, stay up. Yeah, you you know, you get a little push up. Get you a little, you uh, came up to me when we went skiing. You were like, you were like, what cup are you? And I was like, I don't know. And you came over and you checked. Mm -hmm. And you're like, that's an A. And I was like, on wait, hold day. on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let me because I have come I've back. measured myself because you know Zoro has I think it's like a hundred and twenty centimeter bust. And I was like, I wonder what my bust is. You should know that. Well, so Tsunade is 106. Should and that, know that. That's a meme. That's a meme in the Naruto community. It has been forever. Hinata was the second biggest for a long time at mm -hmm. 105, one centimeter short. You shout out to Naruto. Uh -huh. okay. That's ballin' right there. Yeah. Uh, but then Tsunade got nerfed uh, after the war uh, and lost, you know, lost yeah. their upfront warriors. Yeah, well, they're like 30% chakra, I believe. Exactly. Yeah. Well, enti her entire <laughs> body is you like 100% chakra. Oh, true. That, yeah, like, that's it, actually true. It's like yeah. a camel's humps yeah. where they keep their water, which yeah. actually biologically not true. No? Camels do not keep hump, like water in their humps. If I like chop a camel's hump open like not a cactus, like, I can't just like, also which also isn't not edible. True. I know that. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, 0 for 2 on water storing. Uh, so yeah, like after she had to use like the majority of her Biaki seal to like bring her body back after the war, she lost the Tatas. Uh, but Zoro has a bigger bust than both of them at like 120 centimeters. It's insane. It's insane. Wow. Um, and it's just like all obviously like his barrel chest. Yeah. But so I was like, what am I? And I'm a B36. So okay. if anybody's ever ordering the Cabra, like now, you know, my bra size. Yeah. I know someone knows I was sent a uh, maid dress uh for last halloween and so that. somebody i have mods who know all my measurements i don't have them. is that how they got you the boots that's how they got me the boots too oh, i have big stiletto heels no one send me slutty little outfits you gotta open your p.o box and then be I like own a PO box. give me give me slutty things here's please. the thing. when i had a p.o box i got a lot of great things like yeah. very lovely like that that madara painting yeah. right there uh that i got that's incredible um like to this day the only problem is it was before i got beard plugs so right. like it's the last remnant I have of like how shitty so my beard <laughs> used to be. Shoppy ass <laughs> and, beard. And she did a really good job. Like it was like very accurate, but yeah. I was like, we could have filled it in a little bit. Yeah. Um. And so I, I've got incredible things, but also I got a lot of stuff. I was like, oh, this is garbage. <laughs> I was like, I, was not I like, treasure all of it, and this is why you don't get sent things no, it anymore. Was like, it was like literal garbage. It was like, hey, here's a used T-shirt of mine. <laughs> like I was like, I don't. 
fucking want this. Like it wasn't well, like it wasn't like people being like, oh, here's a painting, and yeah. I was like, this shit, this is shit. Here's hair. Here's yeah. clumps of like, my hair. Literally, people would be like, I like here's my sweatshirt I really love, and I'm like. Yeah. This makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm like wildly uncomfortable here. So like, I would like have to like throw shit away. I was like, I was, I was basically throwing people's trash out for them. And I was like, I don't want this anymore. I don't need this for my life. I have a mod who sends me like an egregious amount of jewelry. I usually wear the bracelets, but I don't mm. have one now. You see, you have your fingernails painted. I painted my nails to match the bracelet, the, the bracelet that I which love. you're not wearing. Yeah. You keep giving off the illusion of like, does he have a pack of cards on him? Yeah. You look... If you had your, I look like I could do magic. You look, Get me oh a man, fedora look, and a long jacket. If you hadn't cut your hair, you would look exactly like Chris Angel. Yeah. You would, oh my God. I would done, look like the mind freak himself. You would have been mind freaking me yeah, right now. Yeah. Um, our, <laughs> do you remember the mind freak theme song? You were much more tapped into Chris Angel than I, I was. I loved apparently. mind freak, but the theme song was just like, mind freak, <laughs> mind freak. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna have a mind freak out if you don't yeah. fucking stop. I'm gonna mind sue you if you don't <laughs> get this off TNT it's like the Network. magic version of like, nightmare, nightmare, yeah. nightmare. It was so funny. It's just like 2 a.m. It's like it's mind a, freak. It's like, okay, I'll go to bed. I'm it's sorry. Like two guitar chords, like just yeah. like choo -choo 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 -choo. mind freak. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you remember the, the trick he did when he got shot? <laughs> He yeah. like just shot him in like what trick? He just got shot. He just got like, shot you know, in the hip. <laughs> They're just like what? They just <laughs> they were like where has no organs or bones? Yeah. Like the hip, and they just shot him in the hip. <laughs> I was like, are we out of content? Yeah. yeah, I like I like that. I like when David Blaine also does not tricks where he's like, I'm gonna shove this railroad spike through my hand, and mm -hmm. then it like goes in. He's like, isn't that crazy? Look at that, isn't that wild? And people are like, oh, oh. crazy, and and they're and they're like. So like, how'd you do it? And he's like, it's just, it's just in my hand. Isn't that wild? Yeah, it's like, just like that's bleeding. not a trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, sir, you're injured. You didn't trick anybody. Yeah. You just did the thing. So like, it was like that. And like when he like locked himself in ice for like yeah. a week and like, ha like almost died. Yeah, it's just in ice. Like, Is that's the not... trick human endurance? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, but. um. <laughs> so long story short, Danny sent me a shirtless picture and now we're closer because of it. I suppose. And now you've all seen it. And listen, what other podcast is going to give you their podcast host shirtless. Listen, Otaku's Anonymous, not so anonymous anymore. We are going to blur the nipples, though, because otherwise, can't give that away I for mean, free. yeah, we're just deviants. If your point. feet were in the photo, we would have blurred them as yeah. well. I it, I can't wait to just get my body more shamed by your audience. Well, by oh, your goddamned audience. Speaking of our first, well, first off, not my audience. How dare you? <laughs> I, they, 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 I, I've never once had such slanderous things brought onto my channel. So, Danny, uh, last what am episode, I referring to, Nick? Uh, last episode, Danny, uh, well, I was saying, hey, Danny, you want my tattoos? Because whenever I mess up or don't know anything, Danny's like, hey, should we switch seats? Mm -hmm. But like, I don't even remember what we were talking about. I was like, do you want my tattoos? And somebody was like, Kirby's I Air Ride. Yeah, that's what it was. And I absolutely remember, you which, bastard. Incredible, incredible oh. game still to this day. But I was like, somebody was like, I can't help but wonder what Danny would look like with Nick's tattoos and what Nick would look like with Danny's word for word wig arms with my goddamned wig arms wig arms what? hilarious what an insane thing to say to a man absolutely <laughs> fucking so mean these are daddy forearms the and yeah it's a little weird that it stops directly at the bottom. first off every man's hair does that i'd also like to say i usually have that much arm hair like this is not this is not substandard this is okay arm hair that is how much this is not wig sufficient it's usually my arm hair isn't that dark uh -huh. it is a little man wolf e yeah but like it at least it doesn't go all the way like i have friends whose hair goes to their knuckles and like yours does a little bit on the uh, outside there, yeah. not the whole thing. I've got like a tasteful amount of like Patrick Swayze forearm condition. Like, no, they're not as big, but if I beefed these forearms up a bit, uh -huh. I'd be unstoppable. I did so weird. I'd be, just, I'd be front of the line at the salty spittoon. Top of the head, you were like, I know exactly how hairy Patrick Swayze's- That's my forearm idol. You're just like, <laughs> the, I have an, an you, image you think this in is my mind. the first time I've been told I have wig arms, bitch? I, I, is it not your first rodeo? Because it seems <laughs> like you were very Absolutely upset. not. Okay. I, I was upset. It, I was, but I was, it was like a PTSD kind of- Yeah. It was absurd. An absurd thing to say to somebody. Yeah. And you know what? None of you are seeing my fucking legs. If you think this is bad, 
I, I, I've seen your legs. I'd say they're about adjacent. They're way worse. At the very least, adjacent. They're it's, significantly it's worse. It's not that bad. You're a hairy guy. You want to peek? You want to peek? Oh, oh God. The, the pants are going up. The pants are, the, the pants are way too cam, tight. Off cam. Off cam. Look at the that. The pants are... That's, that's mine. That We literally have the same amount of leg hair. That's, that's a man's amount of leg hair. Yeah, all right. Listen, all right. The beauty standard yeah, in Los Angeles. Yeah, sorry we got a couple of fucking boy-ass men on here. Listen, all Get I'm used to it, the YouTube. Beauty, the beauty standard for Hollywood, and then, like, even, like, I'm watching, like, Love Island with Dorothy. It's like, everyone's like, oh, I shave my chest. Why? Have some chest hair. Why is Captain America hairless? What's going <laughs> on there? I'm sorry. Why is Wolverine the only... The only way you get a superhero with body hair is if they're Canadian. Yeah. If How you, does that if work? you name them after an animal. Exactly. Like, what's going on here? I'm I, so I prefer, disgusting. I prefer, like, a hairless torso on a dude. Like, I, I like, shaved my whole torso a mm -hmm. bit ago. And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm doing this for the rest of my life. Like, oh, this yeah. looks great. I don't know. Because you just get stubbly when it grows out. And then it well, you got to keep up with shirt. it, which is a pain in the ass. Just, I already shaved my arms, and that's too much work as yeah. is. No, and then I the more... It. Listen, once I, get my, once I get my chest done, I'll probably start shaving it. True. It's just everywhere that there's going to be tattoos, I'm going to shave. Because, like, you should. But, yeah, that was our cold open. Uh, talking about the beauty standards of men. And the fact that we should stop shaving Danny. Even though, technically, we... Opened this podcast episode with a shirtless photo of him. Uh. But be nice to Danny, goddammit. All right, he's not wig arms. He's, if anything... Whatever you're about to say, I promise won't help. Toupee arms? It's, because it's, it's less, because it's... So much Because a toupee is, so it's much only worse. a little bit of a wig, you know? Don't tell me I have fucking comb over arms I right now. Because like... it's not a full, because a wig is something whole head. Toupee is just the top. It's tasteful. Anyway, Nick, I have some anime topics I'd like to well, bring up. Also, by the way, hi, I'm Nick, uh, uh -huh. also known as Anti Hammer 23. That's been the end of our cold opening. Welcome to Otaku's Anonymous episode 10. We've been doing Ooh. it for two and a half months. Wow. And we've made absolutely no progress. Uh, we still don't <laughs> know how to- What are you talking to... about? Look, our wide camera's better. That look does at the look... quality here. Yeah, we, we did start we with a $100 Logitech wide cam, and then we upgraded to the personal cams that we use for our singular faces now. And Boom. then- Danny Boom. was like, your cords are shit. Brought his own cords. Uh, the camera for a wide angle technically is propped up on three hard uh, hardcover versions of Berserk. Yeah, three so, deluxe unopened editions of Berserk. So the way they're dollars meant to of be Berserk. used. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Not opened, haven't gotten yeah. into them yet. So that's apparently going to be our setup. But hey, listen, we're the personality, not the brains. Yeah, exactly. Hi, I'm Danny Mata, otherwise known as Wig Arms, uh, Grease Ball, or whatever or, we want to. Or Thin Ass. Yeah, thi <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean, Thin Ass? I, well, okay, well, I'm not saying your ass is thin, but I just, we're talking about how you look like, you know, rib sucky Gyotaro. All right, good. You better watch your fucking tone I the next never, time you call me Thin Ass. Never the next step over the line of, of coming at that ass. All right. I know where I stand. All right, we're moving on. Are we moving to anime topics? <laughs> I feel like we should. I, yeah, we can get there eventually. Um, Yeah, no, I feel like this was a sufficient amount of time for me to get reamed as per, as is the tradition of every cold open we is have. Is it one of, no. Absolutely, that should be on the bingo card. Remember when you were in Japan and you were like, uh, hi, I'm uh, Nick O'Connor. Danny, why are you fucking wet? And I was like, I'm not Nick, but I sure, I sure am now. <laughs> <laughs> that it's such a shame that that episode's audio is so fucky because that is by far and away my best cold opening ever. <laughs> that, that was it's the worst. I'm never excited for the cold opens. <laughs> it's so funny because we've been sitting on a Zoom call for like a half hour, and I was just like, <laughs> out of nowhere, I was like, "You look wet." And yeah. they were just like, "You're telling me now." I had so much time to look nicer for that, and then on top of that, <laughs> oh. the whole episode is like me and Big O Vision, <laughs> like fantastic. Oh, uh, so good. So All right, so what are your anime topics? Do we want to talk about what's between us? Oh my god, I forgot. You, you wanna, I totally forgot. So, you may not be able to see it because my water bottle's kind of in the well, way Well, Nick, here. I'm glad you asked. So, Danny decided to bring a entire Beyblade arena today. I brought my Beyblade Stadium because one of the things that I'm positively known for, one of the few on this podcast, is being cultured in nostalgic anime mm -hmm. things. Um, so... Someone was like, Danny should bring his Bakugan next time. I don't have any Bakugan, but I do have a fucking Beyblade arena. And he's got six Beyblades. Yeah, I got six Beyblades. I asked for this. 
this Christmas. I just, you know what I don't remember? The launchers looking like this. I remember them looking like the black one that you have, but the black one doesn't fit these. Like, yeah. did, they, did these change? These are new. There's a couple new things about these. They, they, we these, reskinned these? These are highly customizable. Um, so I just... So you can change the little, the little nipple at the bottom. Yeah, you can change all of it. Look at all that. I, in like, in a panic, because I was almost late again today. Uh-huh. It was on time today. I was so super on time. So don't add that on your bingo card. Yeah. Uh, because I was almost late today, and this was just in shambles. It was like all the pieces were together. I can or, imagine. We're separate. I was just like fucking constructing Beyblades like a madman. Just mad slapping man. pieces yeah. together, which explains why half of them don't work. Uh, not fucking true, uh, Nick. These, these are the only two that we have managed to even get on the launcher. Well, because there's a lot of complexities with Beyblade. With which, the new launchers, here's the thing. Why? Here's part of the strategy. For children. Ready? You can launch, uh, you can make them rotate right ways clockwise yep. as you might say but mm -hmm. it in the bay uh community we the, call it's it right, right and left yeah, yeah of course uh you can have it spin clockwise you can have it spin counterclockwise some each one only does one type but you can modify it to do the other type. to have a to have a left or a right yeah, spin exactly wow. so i didn't if, know you were such a passionate blader i brought six fucking Beyblades here Which what do you, you got mean for christmas from your lovely yes, girlfriend exactly from my very sweet uh very tolerant girlfriend so me and danny are gonna finally settle who the true alpha of this podcast is mm -hmm. um are you gonna set up the camera yes okay because you can't see into the arena uh we set up a, we set up an arm uh danny's gonna put his camera there uh and through the beauty of editing and through the beauty of our editor stink we're going to show you exactly who wins this battle. So I have the gray and purple one that kind of looks like a Decepticon. Show right under here. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like the Decepticon here. Yeah. Um, that's me. Danny has a red one that's really aggressive and it scares yeah. me. This one's very aggressive. This one's Crimson Typhoon. Well, what's the name of mine? Fuck it. Figure it out, my I, dude. Uh, Violet Evergarden is the name because it's purple. Wow. So me and Danny officially are going are gonna to settle. We're going to squash our beefs. Yeah, you ready for this? Uh, it took me about a half hour to figure out how to get these new things on. For those of you who are in audio, uh, I will be doing play-by-play. So you have I, rip audio listeners. No, 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 I'm going to be doing play by play. Okay. You're going to do the commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Uh, what is it? Let it rip. Yeah. So three, two, two one. one, let, let it, it rip. rip. Okay. So, uh, we've started to make contacts in the middle. Danny is getting super oh, aggressive. Oh my god, something fell into the arena. I am losing speed. Yeah, Red, Danny Red is, is pushing very me. on the attack Danny right now. Danny is pushing me, but I am nice. still spinning. Oh yeah, no, I'm starting to get top to turn. Starting to get the oh, 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 no! no! Wow, wow, look at you. <laughs> Late game winner, wow. Violet Evergarden is successful. You never know. You Ladies never and know. gentlemen, the alpha of the podcast has been decided, wow. and it has been me. Now, Nick, wait, hold on. What? Oh, what? Are we doing again? Are we hold doing on, best hold, out of three? Hold on, hold on. Nick, you were pretty good there. I was fantastic. You weren't bad. How would uh, how would you like to make things interesting? What? What about, uh, what if, how about whoever wins this one uh -huh. gets to name this episode? Because, because last, last time you got to name the fucking episode. Last that episode sound? I did get to name because me and Danny made a bet that if my video did one out of 10, AKA the best video views wise I've posted in the last 10 videos, it would, it would go, uh, as Naruto comes back and not Bunkai Tenkaichi 4. Budokai Tenkaichi 4, you goddamned whore. That's the one. Um, so yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? I have nothing to would lose. Would you like to shake on that? But, but that would just be one, one then is the issue. Okay, so you want to do a tiebreaker after? If if assuming, so, assuming, assuming we need I win. No, 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 no. We'll say we'll, yeah. we'll just say All or nothing. That was for the alpha ship. Right. Personal alpha. That's fine. You're alpha. But for naming the yeah. episode, yeah, sure. I'm down. Okay. I'm down for that action. Right. Well, and, yeah. There Danny's we go. These are Danny's nails. These are my little the nails. Uh, I'm just so bad for staying for having to edit all this together. Do you, do you mind if I switch Beyblades real quick? What Beyblade are you going to... I swear to God, if you pull out something metal. Do you mind if I... What is this? Do you mind if no, I switch no, Beyblades this, this real quick? No, this is a material change. Do you, what do is, you that's mind? A God, that's a bearing. Why is it metal? You did, you did pretty good last time, Nick. You did pretty good. Danny, this, this is definitely against regulations. Come here. Come here. This is against regulations. Here. No, it's fine. We're going to play. We're going to play. I, for our audio only listeners, Danny just I pulled out just a produced, lug nut with a nipple on it. From my pocket, I have just produced Chrono Crimson. 
It's not even red. I know. It's I not even red. There's nothing crimson I about think it. Think of a second. The part. last one was crimson. You're just hung on crimson. <laughs> <laughs> You're just hung you on- fool, <laughs> Nick. You don't know what you've just gotten yourself into. It's gonna. What are you saying? It's gonna spin so hot it becomes crimson. Are you ready? I'm about to get absolutely deleted. Are you ready for this? Round two. Okay. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let it rip. Right. If I win, I swear to God. Oh! Crow's oh. on the attack! It's attacking purple! It's... Violet Evergarden's on the ropes! I. It sounds like it's in pain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It yours is... is going low. It's too low. Tossing. Tossing yours around. Of course you win. It weighs six yours. pounds. Would you like to try again? No. Would you like to go in? How is it still going? Anyway, uh, I'll take that out at the end of the podcast when it stops spinning. I just, that is, I, I've been duped. Anyway, um, look forward to my title of this episode. I Yeah, and then watch it be something like that we ends up being terrible for click through rate or something. You know, I believe in you because I, you're an accomplished YouTuber and you should be able to title yeah, a video. Uh, everyone looks still spinning. Everyone look forward to uh, Danny Mata has an appropriate amount of arm hair. <laughs> episode episode 10. 10. Danny Mata is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Stop yeah. saying otherwise. It's like a whole, like a whole rundown of everything that's gorgeous about you. <laughs> yeah. Nine out yeah, of 10 it's just ass. a list. Yeah. I love that for you. So yeah, I'm happy that you decided to, I didn't even know that existed. You've had that in your pocket this entire time. All day. <sighs> all month. I carry this around all the time just in case someone challenges me on the street it's just, it's to just, obey, it, it's just to obeying. It's just hurtful. Sometimes. Um, this is the most, so when Sarah got me this stadium, mm-hmm. still spinning by the way. Mm-hmm. Now it's There dead. we go. Um, when Sarah got me the stadium, it was this, it's all these like more child friendly ones. They're all plastic. They are designed to explode. Mm-hmm. Um, however, so We're I'm glad that's designed that didn't happen. to explode. They, they're called Beyblade Burst. Uh-huh. And they explode, which is why this has kind of a lip over it. Makes sense, yeah. Um, it's very scary when it happens. Mm-hmm. But then that does not if that explodes, it literally will punch yeah, through a quarter and This is gonna be like a fucking decapitation. This, so why would do so you compete she, with these? So she gave me this and then she she handed me this little box that was covered in Japanese and I couldn't even discern what it was. And I pulled out this 90s ass insane like real Beyblade just all metal one piece. Like that's not even a Beyblade. Like that's just a weapon. It's just a, yeah. It's like just if like you just a, rip that at somebody it goes straight through their it's skull. It's just like a washer attached to like mm-hmm. a dreidel. Exactly. Like, yeah. like it is literally like a weapon. Yeah. Like that is the top that Kilawa uses or like the yo-yo that Kilawa uses like in the I guess Greed Island arc. Yeah. Not I would, that you would know. I would love to like just thread a bike chain through this and wear this around my neck and just go like that'd be causing sick. trouble <laughs> like, also like you could like bike it up with the bike chain oh like, yo absolutely if, launch it if the bike chain acted as one of these keys like i take off the necklace mm-hmm. put it in this and then rip it with my necklace yeah i've seen yeah. people who have like who have like set up like spinning things on a motorcycle and like put a motorcycle on the ground and then like rev their motorcycle like 60 miles an hour to spin the thing. Whoa. And it's just like absolutely terrifying to watch. So yeah, that was uh that was Beyblade on a podcast. Yeah, so I'll be naming the podcast episode. How many podcasts give you live breakdowns of their Beyblade battles? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Next time we'll be playing Bakugan if I ever figure out how that fucking game's I'd, played. I'd say we're probably at least one of the only five people to ever do that on a podcast. For sure. For sure. A, 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 a live breakdown? Yeah. A live a, li- yeah. a live bay battle? This is what you get. This is what you get yeah. from Utaku's Anonymous, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So now we should talk about actual anime things. Because uh, a lot did happen this week. Mm-hmm. Like a lot happened this week. Mostly uh, with, the, with the current line of anime that we've been talking about in the last 10 episodes. Me and Dorothy were having a, what we like to call them, fester days. Uh, Sundays okay. are our fester day. Uh, where we just sit on the couch for like a loose 14 hours and just right. watch TV all day. Uh, so I was, uh, after I was like eating breakfast in the morning, uh, and Dorothy was coming down and I was like, oh, cool. Like I'm watching the newest episode of Buddy Daddies. Do you want to watch it with me? Mm-hmm. So did you, you haven't seen the newest episode, right? No. So it's like a whole family day thing. Okay. Like it's like her kid, Miri's kindergarten or like, I guess preschool is doing like a family day thing where all of the kids compete in a bunch of different things. Nice. Uh, and Ray is like battling with like how to be a supportive parent and all of that. And Can I, real quick, just to chime in. Yeah. Are you also constantly distracted by um, the daycare teacher, Miss Anna's ginormous fucking breasts? N- no. Miss Anna has like quadruple Fs. Listen, she's loving. All right. She, she's maternal. I'm loving. That's she, for sure. She better be. Like, yeah. No, I'm kidding. Obviously, you can have whatever kind of boobs you want. But no, I, I've never been like those are 
They're egregious. It's anime, babe. They're insane. It's just that's just what happens. Yeah. Any side character who has that any like amount of plot but is she, gonna need some big old goose. Kazuki has literally like interacted with real prostitutes that don't have boobs as big. That's true. But like also like so a big part of this recent episode was like Anna is strong, like incredibly strong. Uh and so like this whole thing is like there's like tug of war, there's like a three-legged race, mm. super cute. And then like there's a there's a the what, what when you have to find things. When you, scavenger hunt there's scavenger hunt at yeah. the end and a searchy find a searchy find yeah. exactly <laughs> uh and so uh miri's trying to like find something on a card and she grabs ray who's like dealing with the fact that he doesn't feel like he's part of the family and at the end of the episode they're like oh what did the card say and she was like find your family and dorothy and me just start just ball bawling damn just crying she's like and dorothy doesn't like anime and she's yeah. like it's a good anime <laughs> we're just like sitting there holding each other just like fucking crying were you just like upstairs right now we're having kids we're like i'm yeah. pumping out <laughs> like, but you know what's funny is so me and dorothy have like we have no plans of having children but like we have been like oh like if we had kids what would their names be? yeah and so like we thought like something like luna or something would be a good name for a girl now i think i want it to be miri Mary? i think i would name my daughter miri i like the name i feel like that's gonna be an uphill battle getting right. it against uh, uh dorothy what you don't think she'll like miri i don't I, th I think her she, name is Dorothy. As long as we do better than that, Miri, she's going to be happy. Miri is fine as a name, but nice. like the origin. Yeah, there we go. There's we our finally got our We finally There's got our, our guest piece, on huh? the show. He's been sitting next to me this whole time. For those of you listening, Neutron finally made it to the wide shot. How's it going, Captain Jowls? Captain Jowls. Um, oh, so you get called Wig Arms and now you're now you're putting down his appearance? Look at his fucking jowls. He's got Don't look at me jowls. like that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's judging you. He knows <laughs> what you just said about him. It's like, what did you call me, Wig yeah. Arms? So as long as we do better than the name Dorothy. But I feel it's the fact that it's like, if I want to name my son Bruce, I feel like that'd what's be wrong, fine. What's wrong with, oh, okay. That'd be fine. Bruce. But like, if my like future wife or whatever was mm -hmm. like oh like that's such a sweet name why bruce and i went you know because like batman like wayne like yeah. bruce wayne yeah she'd be like absolutely not no that's that sick. can't be the origin absolutely. he gets to be a billionaire playboy who goes out at night and beats up bad guys that's like did you ever, the best thing you could hope did you ever for? see at the end of the last harry potter movie where harry's like i know, haven't seen the harry potter movies none <laughs> or i've seen like one or two of them see they used to just get put on tv like cable all the time yeah. and i'd like scroll past them i'll watch them for a half hour and be like i don't give a shit about any of this then i guess i'm done with my analogy no 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 no, no. continue the, i might have seen it i so don't know who knows there's like multiple characters obviously in harry potter and I, ones I, I thought it was a monologue it's, eight it's episodes a of one a woman show i love that good for them <laughs> um there's like severus snape albus dumbledore dumbledore exactly. i've seen yeah. the taking time yeah. bomb video yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, I know, know. you know potter puppet pals exactly. that's all you need to know absolutely wild the, yeah. the amount of things you just have tip of the tongue crazy what are you talking about potter you, puppet pals the fact that well, that it's, was the first youtube video it's a fucking it's alliteration i i i know then they did a great job yeah. naming it that came out in 2007 i'm ready a I'm loose on it. 16 years I'm ago on it. i'm so proud of you came out in 2007 stayed in my head ever since uh, i could <laughs> sing i could sing the whole thing you're welcome Finish i just drinking. squirted on danny <laughs> finish drinking you're before. welcome so you want to continue um, but uh so there's severus snape and albus dumbledore mm -hmm. And at the end of all the movies, spoiler, I guess, mm -hmm. um, Harry, like his son is nervous about going to Hogwarts and he like bends down to him and he's like, Severus Albus Potter, you and you're like, fucking shut up, Harry. Oh my God. Um, and that's what I feel like it's like, like, don't. Isn't Snape a bad guy? It's complicated. Is it, it's isn't he a bad dude that he turns is good and then he's bad? Is Dumbledore a bad guy is no. the real question. I thought he was I thought he was just a cool old gay man. And it's complicated. Is it? It's complicated. I thought he just had to drink the potion. And they're like, you have to keep, I because that's, I keep seeing that sound on TikTok. You have to keep drinking. Oh, uh, with the shell? Yeah. And he's like, kill me. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> you have to keep drinking. Um, But that's what I feel like it's like, where it's like, if, if you, people find out you named your daughter after an anime, Oh, but like it's buddy daddies. No, it's not like I'm naming my child. Worse. It's not Hinata. Better. Hinata's better. Hinata is better than Miri. A hundred percent. How? A show. First off, Hinata's like the name of multiple characters. It could be a high Q reference. It could be Boy, Naruto. Though. Regardless, mm -hmm. like at least Hinata like has hundreds of episodes worth of yeah, like shit. Clearly she's done. from anime. You know, right? Like that's the thing. 
I like, I'm not going to name my child Asta. Everybody would know. Miri is also, like, a name no one's ever heard before. Exactly. But, like, it's not clear. But the thing is, like, there's, let's be real. There, we love Buddy Daddies. There's like, not you're not, not going to name him Goku is what you're saying? Exactly. Yeah. There's yeah. not that many people watching Buddy Daddies comparatively you. to the big three. I feel so you. So sneak one in. Yeah. Ray? Well, no, that's fine, I Ra suppose. Yeah, well, like, yeah. R-E-I, I think is how it's spelled. Yeah. Like, confuses teachers forever. Yeah. Like, re -I? Yeah. No, you dumb bitch. Ray, <laughs> dumb figure it bitch. out. Come on. Yeah. So that's that. I, so that was like, I'm trying to break her into anime using Buddy Daddy. So you right can now. name your children. Yeah, more or yeah. less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Because Mary's the goat, honestly. She's or fun. Anya. She is her. Anya's better. Anya's better. I still think Anya's better. I like can't stand no, like, Mary. Wise. Anya's better. Anya's like a name. Okay, here's here's our TikTok. Yeah. If you had to name your children after one anime character, boy, who would it be? Boy. Yeah. Uh, you have to take in consideration that this character is not a dumbass, and also the name is cool. Gara. Gara's a great <laughs> choice. That's a fucking sick name. Oh, huh? that's a great choice. Gara is such yeah. a cool name, dude. No one's fucking with Gara on the oh, playground. I'm Are you kidding me? So angry you came to that. Yeah, Honestly, I'm... I said earlier I wouldn't choose Asta, but Asta's a sick name. Asta as well. is good. Asta's You're a right. sick name. Asta's really cool. Naruto's stupid. Naruto. That one's too like Sasuke's stupid. Sasuke's better. If I'm, Sasuke's better. If I meet a child named Sasuke, Sasuke? I'm, I'm roundhouse kicking. <laughs> I'm fucking putting him. I'm putting him ten feet down. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of like what's a name where I'm like, God, I need that name. Yeah. Like, I'm just rattling off every name in my. That's Kilua. No. Sanji's not bad. Sanji's not bad. Sanji's not terrible. Zoro. Bad. No. Bad. I don't. Everyone's mind. gonna think it's the Antonio Banderas movie. Which, oh, is that the worst thing? My child's now slightly associated with the sex icon Antonio Banderas. That's like naming your, would you name your kid Puss? In Boots? First off, one is a human, one is not. Very different. I suppose. I'd name my child In Boots. In Boots? In Boots. <laughs> in Boots, Connor. Yeah, we'd have to move yeah. to like Germany, but like In Boots. Yeah, but yeah. Hey, In Boots, In Boots, in come, boots. come. In Boots, get over here. Yeah. In Boots, get In Boots, yeah. Sanji Connor. Get over here. Get your ass over here he right now. Sanji Kana. Usopp? Yeah. No, terrible. Yeah. I Nami for a girl? No. All right. So, so Asta, Gara. Yeah. Great answers. Yeah. Boy names. Yeah. Girl. Eno. Eno is Eno's very sick. cool. It's a sick name. Very cool. I don't mind Hinata. Mm. Maybe I do. Just Hinata too... like sounds too sexy, right? I think we're just associating the image of Hinata maybe. with the name. Yeah, maybe the fact that I've been groomed to love Hinata. Which, like, up, she yeah. is best girl in Naruto, so it makes yeah. sense. Eno's good. I think I'm settled on Eno. I'm, like, so stuck in Naruto for some reason. I mean, but there's a lot of, like, very standard names in anime, like Lucy. Yeah, like I mean, Lucy An Heart Anya is, like, not bad. Anya's but that's not also, terrible. like, hard. That's, like, cheating, borderline. Why? Because it's just, like, a name. Yeah, because it's yeah. just, like, a regular ass name. Yeah. Eno's a sick name, low key. Eno, I, I know a, I almost know a Momo. I know a Mau Mau. Mau Mau? Yeah, a like Mau Mau. M-A-O-M-A-O? -O? Yeah, she's Sick. Chinese. I think it's a nickname. Okay. Or it isn't. I don't know. I, I li see like a lot of Chinese like familial words are the repeat of the same sound. Yeah. So like it could very much be. Yeah. Like I think like brother and sister are the repeat of the same sound if dorothy was here i could ask her uh but so it could just be something like that one of our chinese listeners will be like yeah you guys are fucking idiots i know i'm it's waiting very for much that. a nickname but um so final answer i guess i get I, i'm taking eno okay yeah cool uh speaking of naruto by the way uh there is massive naruto news no oh, yeah uh well not naruto news but boruto news chapter 77 chapter 79 of boruto leak are we in news already no 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 no, no. this is this is my this is my training arc because okay. it, so I, I'm talking about what happened this week. So for two weeks in a row now, massive Naruto news broke. Obviously last week we had the four episodes. Right. This week, uh, Boruto's only monthly. Uh, but like usually when a Boruto, like manga chapter comes out, everyone's like, oh, cool, more Boruto. You know, not the end of the world. Like it's not like Karama dies or anything like that. It's just like more Boruto. You yeah. Know? Uh, this week, not the case for that. Right. At all. Like Boruto's manga right now is going absolutely nuts. At the same time as JJK's manga going absolutely nuts. Like, <laughs> like, like Sukuna's on a world tour right now. It's absolutely crazy. Like we're doing entire new terminology and moves to make Sukuna <laughs> stronger. Somehow it's nuts. Um, but Boruto news, we saw the strongest move 
ever created used in Boruto and it rewritten the entire reality of the Boruto universe. Whoa. And like it's now setting up for the time skip, which is going to be nuts. And it's basically kind of confirmed that Boruto and Saruta are going to end up together. Okay. So it's like Boru so Sara e shippers. Equal like intensity. Of exactly. News. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we're cataclysmic cataclysmic jutsu ship. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is like, so Kishimoto always wanted Naruto and Sasuke to kiss. They did it like really? the, the, canonically. I think the people we saw kiss the most out of anybody in Naruto was Naruto and Sasuke. Right. Because we see Sasuke and Sakura, I think kiss in Sasuke Retsudan. And then obviously Naruto and Hinata don't kiss until the last. One time each. Yeah. They, Naruto I think Naruto and Sasuke have only kissed once. No, they kiss like three or four really? times. Like three or four times. Like well, obviously there's the first time it happens yeah. and then it happens like two, at least two more times. Wow. So like Kishimoto, listen, Kishimoto yeah. just knew the world wasn't brave enough for Naruto and Sasuke to end up together. Right. So he was like, here, I'm going to have them have children opposite gender. That way Naruto and Sasuke indirectly kiss. Right. So it's going to, it's a nice full circle moment. So Boruto right now, the manga going absolutely nuts. Anime has its moments um there's there's kind of like in a code fight right now where boruto and kawaki are fighting code and there's moments where i'm like oh wow this looks really good and then there's moments like that's this jpeg looks, like, i'm watching like literally like a jpeg yeah. i'm watching i'm on episode 670 of one piece right now right meaning it came out five or six years ago because it's been coming out weekly 52 episodes in a year which would be 300 episodes from I, I, like probably like 350 episodes. So God, that's seven years ago. Crazy math. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad though. Pretty, yeah, pretty good fast, mental math. Yeah. Fast math. Exactly. So seven years ago and we're currently in Dressrosa and there's no wild fights. Like Toei is known for the fact that it's fights like one punch and then it's like, oh, right. and yeah. then there's dust and that's it. But like the animation looks better from seven years ago in One Piece. Right. And then obviously you watch JJK and everything. It's just like weekly anime just can't keep up. Yeah. yeah like it's sure. just like, I don't think there should be weekly anime anymore. No, I agree. But I also feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, viewers, but I'm starting to feel like we say this every week. The <laughs> weekly like, anime shouldn't exist like anymore. Every week we are bitching on weekly anime. Every single week we're disappointed with weekly anime. Yeah. No, I feel that. Like it just lets us down. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's no like shock. Like seasonal anime is like the move yeah. for sure. But like, so speaking of seasonal anime, class one, we just got class one A versus Deku and mm -hmm. My Hero. And you're not caught up with My Hero no. either. I hear Sorry. it's cool. This is Nick's monologue hour. So class one, a versus Deco, basically what the, like the entire season has been building up towards the end of Deku's vigilante arc. Um, one of the most emotionally, like fully packed episodes I've seen out of my hero in a while. Damn. Like you've seen the majority of my hero, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, you know, that there's my hero moments is what I like to call them. Like moments that give you like legitimate goosebumps. Yeah. And it was one of those my hero moments. Like it's it's an awesome moment in the manga. Uh, all of Class One A basically comes together to battle against Deku to bring mm -hmm. him back to UA, uh, and they did it absolute justice in the anime. There's been moments this season where it's like, oh, the manga's better. Yeah. Uh, but like this season, that scene building up to all of it, the anime was better. Nice. Like it's the pacing was incredible. Like Ida, obviously Bakugou's voice actors absolutely killed it. Like it was so good. And I was just like sitting there eating <laughs> breakfast, like just like watching i was just like yeah like in awe of how gorgeous the moment was is that like the general consensus have oh, you yeah. seen like people are real into that moment yeah yeah like so earlier in the season it was like deku versus shigaraki yeah. it was like kind of like a powerpoint like it was like unfortunately like one of the bigger fights like the culmination yeah. of like or the beginning of the war and one of the bigger fights a kind of like PowerPoint, yeah. which people were pissed about this people are like unanimously like unanimously like that was incredible nice yeah it that's was so, so sick that's super high and you see every single member of class 1a like pitch in to yeah. try and bring deku back it's awesome man it also like shows you how strong deku has got right right so yeah that's i know it. he he's getting op like he's getting oh, yeah. a little nuts for yeah, sure and, and the thing is people are upset with people are upset with like how fast it's moving because yeah. like people are like oh he has like all these abilities and i haven't seen him train in any of them yeah. outside of black whip and like maybe fajin like yeah. not even really so like people are upset but at the same time like i don't know i feel like my hero can't win especially with like the current health of the mangaka yeah. which we're actually going to talk about later um but i feel like my hero can't win because like horikoshi wants the manga to end he's yeah. not healthy yeah yeah. Like, yeah. He, like and he's like obviously like like i guess we can pseudo talk about it right now we'll we'll get my we'll get my flashback episode out of the way here so whenever we get the flashback episode later i won't have one but horikoshi uh the mangaka of my hero academia is taking a two-week hiatus for my hero which has been coming out weekly for 
380 chapters. Yeah. So almost eight years uh, has been coming out weekly. Uh, so been busting his ass at it. I know. Well, so I hear that, like, I heard that people like fans are like asking Toei to give him a longer hiatus or not Toei. Not Toei. Uh, I do not whoever. know. Who, I do not know who animates it, but it's not whoever. Toei. Yeah. Um, but they uh, or not even like who animates it, like who like Shonen his Jump. publisher. Yeah. yeah, Shonen. yeah Shonen Jump. Um, I hear that they're like Shonen Jump maybe, or maybe people think that Shonen Jump's like, all right, you get two weeks yeah, and then come back. And I hear people are like, let him rest as much as he needs because Mon mangaka be dropping out here famously like yeah. famously overworked yeah i saw a video from inside of mappa of the people who were animating the last like out like that hour and 20 episode we got a couple weeks ago yeah the just eye bags, shambles their eye bags yeah. i'm not kidding like almost down below God. their nose like 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 to here yeah insane how yeah. overworked animators and underpaid animators are and mappa just keeps picking up new projects yeah and you're saying mappa picking up a project used to mean something it doesn't mean anything anymore well it's weird because it like selectively means something where like they put they put their full bussy into some projects yeah. and other projects well, is like, like this doesn't look great yeah exactly it's like it's so strange that chainsaw man had like everything they had and more and yeah. then you've got like vinland saga looking fine Which, and like yeah it's not a high action season yeah like it's just like basically thor finn and uh, yeah. anar it's like farmland farming. saga exactly yeah. so but like it's not the end of the world right so like it's just like the dichotomy between like certain things that mappa creates it's like some's good some's not yeah it's you know? very strange but they were oh my god it looked awful like i'm sure they were pulling like 18 hour days yeah like it looks hell on earth i know i like am so astonished that like they are able to stay creative like on top of having to spend like 18 hours like drawing the shit mm -hmm. the mangaka like can come up with it like you get the storyboard yeah first. like yeah. Can, can still be like excited enough about the project to be like all right i want deku to like develop in this way rather yeah. than like i don't know it'd be so easy just be like all right, and they fucking he beats he like, guy. He fucking, punches the bad yeah, guy in whatever. the mouth, and it's over. I would. That's what I would yeah, do. Like, I would yeah, just, just turn into Dragon Ball Super. Exactly. Yeah. I would just get fed up. One yeah. Day. Like I'd just be like, I'm surprised Oda hasn't hit. Like, oh yeah, we we're gonna go to our 28th island. Yeah. One of these times, it's like, oh no, uh, the One Piece. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Fucking found it. Just <laughs> yeah, pick it up. Just like oh, yeah. okay. I'm just like yeah. I want to go on L vacation. Luffy knocks out Kaido, and he oh, uh, it's the and it's the One, one piece. piece. He's like Sonic. Like yeah. all of the One Piece comes yeah. out of him. Yeah. Zoro Zoro kisses Nami. Mm. No, um, Sanji the, kisses Zoro. They get okay. One Piece. The end. The, uh, bingo. Yeah, like Finn. <laughs> see you later. I'm going to Bali. In and then just like oh, a gust of wind blows, and he fades in dust <laughs> yeah. like just the, just Thanos, the, just yeah. Thanos is away the yeah. sand that is him like <laughs> evaporates life work finished I'm fucking yeah. out what's crazy he finished the, his unfinished business yeah like Oda is a terrible example of like mangaka who want to work less like mangaka, yeah. like he loves it yeah, like yeah. he like tells his editors like get ready to die for this yeah. shit like I will kill you over this yeah. like he loved like every day he's checked in for for 22 years yeah uh, but like yes the prevailing movement amongst most people is like alright let's give these motherfuckers some time to breathe yeah nobody needs all this content like no. you know like and unfortunately there's two sides to it though because there is the people who are like yeah, get back you know there's like why are we taking hiatus like where's yeah. my chapter i need deco i need bakugo 13 people unalived themselves because of something that happened in the mha manga what yeah whoa yeah i, I if i if i say it it's kind of a spoiler uh um, whoa but like third they're called the bakugo 13 whoa and 13 people because they thought something happened to bakugo that didn't end up happening is that real on a lot yes like what? like a full like a what? full like crazy so like the fans of mha specifically are in a couple of different quadrants and there is the well-adjusted adult human beings who are like hey listen like you can take as much time as you want it's what we've been doing with the mangaka of hunter hunter for a long time we got chapter 400 like what two months ago three months ago and it's like i'm taking a hiatus and everyone's like all right cool See you in another three years. Like as yeah. long, like as long as it gets finished one day, I don't give a shit. Like I just don't want Hunter Hunter to like live forever in hiatus. And so like unfortunately, because of that things like Hunter Hunter get known as like hiatus x hiatus, you know. Mm -hmm. But like I just don't like us putting pressure on all of these like um, mangaka. I think we need to take a step away from that and understand that like they are humans. What so, supposedly fourteen people? Have, oh, this is eye funny though. Mm -hmm. But supposedly fourteen people have committed of a recent plot development, some MHA. Okay, apparently it's the Bakugo 14. 
But I can't. There's no real news articles about it, though. Okay. It's just iFunny telling okay. me. Okay. iFunny is not the world's best. Right. So trepidatiously however that is insane. allegedly yeah allegedly, but allegedly. The, the fact that that even like would be a conversation point yeah absolutely not that is wild but yeah no definitely give them more breaks for yeah, sure just let them breathe every once in a while i have i have a fun subject okay that i've been wanting to broach for weeks okay um are we ready to move on yeah yeah i've gotten everything off my chest what is Except your <laughs> i'm sorry we just, just I, I was reading my notes and i saw wig arms and it brought me back to hair <laughs> continue um i have so I have such a weird fascination with like intermediate enemies in anime. Like the stepping stones. Like the stepping stone anime gotcha, enemies. Yeah. Like, for example, like your Zarbons from Dragon Ball. I love that we're back on Zarbon. Love Zarbon. Yeah. Big crocodile looking man. Mm -hmm. uh, starts off as a pretty boy, turns into an alligator. I love your Zarbons. We love that. We love a reverse uh, frog and the princess situation. I love I love your uh, like hidden sound village ninjas. The, the sound village four. The sound village they four. They kind of were the big enemies of the Sasuke retrieval arc. Like, Nar. I guess like, Nar. In, nar. Nar. In Kimi the beginning. Maru was kind of the biggest enemy. Wait, I'm talking about, who's the guy with the, yeah, well, because it becomes, you're right, it changes, but in the beginning, who's the group that Sasuke breaks the fucking arms of? Oh, Like, those yes. guys. Those and are, And then yeah. Choji mm. turns big, so he doesn't have to hear the guy, and the guy, like, sends out, like, that shit. Yeah, the ones that Shino fills his armholes yeah. with bugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the manga, his arms they blow explode. off. They, they 100 percent fall off his body. Yeah, yeah, really intense. Sick. I love. I'm Shino. talking those guys. I'm talking fucking six arms from Demon Slayer. Katana Man and Chainsaw Man. But he's like he's like the lead antagonist. Technically, of the arc one. is called the Katana, like the Katana yeah. Man arc. But that, like, that's not like he's a stepping stone to the greater enemies of the Chainsaw Man universe. I suppose so. But yeah, that's not like so much of like I'd even argue. Yeah, the like the flute girl and like those Chayuya. guys. Yeah, are that's like, the Sound Village Four. Yeah, the Sound Village Four, like, those are, like, like, no one's ever bringing them up in the conversation of, like, anything, really. I guess. I was actually, at some point, I probably, like, when I run out of content, I am going to do, like, a breakdown on the Sound Village Four, but yes. Nice. But, like, I mean, my qualification, if it, the anime became a video game, these enemies wouldn't be in it. They wouldn't show up as Sound playable Village 4 characters. Sound Village Four are in Ninja Storm. No. Yes. No. For 1,000% sure they are you in... You can't... Not as, like, playable. They're, like, assists. Absolutely 1,000% sure they are in... Yes. Yep. I... I'm um, pretty positive My right positive hand to God, they not. are at least Storm 3. Go on. At who, least Who's Storm your favorite three. Stepping Stone villain? As I look this nonsense up, I mean, like, I need the, to be right. like, the perfect example of the Stepping Stone villain is, like, Victor's ass. DC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know Zaz. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Victor Zaz. He's the guy yeah. that you punch to get information about where the Joker's like dirty bomb is. Right. So so you have an obsession with them. Why are we talking about your obsession with Edom like intermedi intermediary enemies? There's no reason. I just want to ask you why, like who your favorite of those oh, are. Oh, my favorite like, amongst yeah. like stepping stone enemies? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, they're DLC, you bitch. In Storm 3? In Storm 4. Okay, yeah, in Storm 4, but they're for sure in Storm 3. I know because Jirobu was like weirdly good in Storm Three. It was like it was like he was kind of meta. Maybe, maybe I, I was I was four. I was generations and on. But go on. Intermediary enemies. I feel like One Piece is full of them. One Piece is full of them. I would say that Buggy is kind of an intermediary. Like like he yeah. gets you close. Uh, the problem is every arc has its own enemy, mm -hmm. and like I would say like Caesar Clown was like the Punk Hazard final enemy. The Yeti Cool Brothers in Punk Hazard are pretty cool. Yeti Cool Brothers. Yeah, it's brothers. like two Yetis that um, are twins and they work together and yeah. they're huge. One Piece is actually chock full of them. Like there's yeah. so many. I would even call, who's the big hippo guy uh, in Chopper's arc where he like, his mouth gets huge. I don't remember. He, exactly. So far back. That's the criteria. Yeah. You don't remember. Like, so that's that's why it's a tough question. Like yeah. who is your, your favorite stepping stone enemy? Who's like, who's an enemy where you're like, man, they uh, had more potential. Like Kimimaru comes to mind. Kimimaru is not really a step because he's kind of like, he's like hardly in it. Well, all of them are stepping stones for Naruto to battle against Sasuke. Right. Like, but like Kimimaru is not a stepping stone enemy for Gara and Lee. Like the only reason that he doesn't kill Gara and Lee is because he dies. Well, I don't mean like not. It doesn't have to be like a narrative thing where mm -hmm. it's like 
oh, what's an enemy that, like, they learned from? I mean, like, an enemy, an enemy where you're like, man, this dude's design is sick, his power is sick, but he's only in, like, four episodes. Honestly, like, a lot of the Akatsuki. If yeah. You know, like, uh, like, oh, big flytrap man is like that. He's like... Zetsu? Yeah. Isn't he, like, hardly in it? Literally the final bad guy. Oh, interesting. Literally kills Madara. Oh, interesting. Brings Kage back to life. Is the manifestation of Kage's will. Never Did mind. you not finish Naruto? No. You not didn't. Shippuden. I How just know, far did you make it into Shippuden? I just know that guy's not in the games. Zetsu is in the games. Not in Storm 4. Yes, he is. No, you I, can't play him. You cannot gaslight. Zetsu is absolutely in Storm 4. I promise 4. you. He I am like the, the fighting game of aficionado guy. here. What's what's the new Dragon Ball game coming out called? Be Benkai Tenkanichi. Stop saying Benkai. <laughs> Benkai Tenkanichi. No. 4. I promise I promise he can't be him. I, you I, know, you know who else kind of almost counts? Zabuza, a little. He Zabuza. does have his own arc, but uh -huh. it's like, it's I like would the say tutorial. Who is the stepping stone enemy to Zabuza? I would say so. I would agree. But then again, Haku is the person that Naruto and Sasuke have to battle against. Right. But they do have to kill Haku to get yeah. to Zabuza. But that, like, that's what I mean. Like a, like an entry level kind of. I, or I just know we're just focusing on Naruto, but like that's just like. There's so There's many in them, Naruto. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like the one from Hunter Hunter. Like who who Hunter Hunter's stepping stone enemy would be. And it probably something like the Mafia Dons in mm -hmm. like the 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 York New, the York New Arc or something like that. And then like the Phantom Troop are the real bad guys the whole time. Right. Oh <sighs> yeah, like lower level Chimera Ants. That's probably it. Like the the Chimera Ant uh, like admirals, uh, but not like Marowam in the Royal Guard is also a really good example. Yeah. That's a great question. Yeah, Tough nice. though. Tough answer because you're like, who's your favorite non-memorable character? Yeah, exactly. You know what a good Avatar one is? You remember Combustion, the combustion Man? Bender. Yeah, yeah, That's, yeah. yeah. I love that our brains with the same yeah. one. Yeah, because he's sick. He comes in looking like a full Metal Alchemist character. Yep. Like metal arm, metal leg. What? No, I'm just thinking like a, a Full Metal Alchemist examples would oh, be yeah. like Scar or something. Yeah. Yeah. But he comes in shooting fucking a, like an anti-tank missile out of his head. Yep. Do they Don kill him? They kill him. <laughs> How do they kill him? Sokka kills him. How? With the boomerang? Either, either Sokka or Toph. I, think, I know they kill them in Korra. I think they super kill him. They Toph's daughter kills yeah, him, right? I yeah, I think Toph shoots a... Well, I want to say Sokka's boomerang does it, but I think mm. Toph shoots a little rock at his thing, and it fucks it up, and so he blows himself That's up. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would think that, like, hey, we need to shoot explosions... You, you think you wouldn't focus on the brain. Yeah. Like, hey, we need to shoot explosions from some part of our body. And it's like, hey, Tony Stark, I think, had it right. I don't with, like, think the they hands. choose. I would, I'd be more into it coming out of his mouth. I love, like, a Kappa gun. Like, a, just a laser coming out of a mouth. Kappa gun? That's Nappa's ultimate move. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or Kappa beam or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he gets killed by Vegeta. Yeah. Like a bitch. Yeah. He's also a playable character in Bunkai Kanichi. He's also a good stop it. He's a good I stepping dive stone. over and strangle you. You're gonna have to get across this Beyblade Nappa's, arena. Nappa's <laughs> great. Uh, he's a good stepping stone enemy. Yeah. He's sick. Yeah. He's that, real I think he is the, the perfect example of a stepping stone enemy. Yeah. I agree. Like who would who would Frieza's arc stepping stone enemy? Zarbon. Be? Zarbon. Exactly. Zarbon. The Ginyu Force. The Ginyu Force. Yep. Raccoon is like the Nappa sort of, where like Raccoon is weirdly strong. He's mm -hmm. like better than all the others. Um, uh, and Dodoria. Frieza's like full of them. Mm -hmm. And then I guess Cell doesn't really. Oh, Cell's is Android. Oh, Android. With the fat fi one. Fifteen through. Yeah. Fifteen through seventeen. Well, seventeen and eighteen are like more like because they were in it's, they run vegeta's fate yeah like <laughs> it's crazy hey they absolutely run vegeta's fate <laughs> the the androids and jero like are a little better because like toriyama originally intended them to be the antagonists of the arc oh and then his know. editor was like oh look at that something i know <laughs> All that. Um, one of them should be green with a tail yeah then... his, his editor was like this, these aren't, like, intimidating. They're, like, two teenagers. And so he made Cell, and then he was like, well, this guy's gonna have another form, right? People loved Frieza's other forms. And yeah. then he was like, yeah, he's gonna have another form. And then he gives him his second form with the big lips. And, and then, then they're like, mm, well, hate like, that. Yeah, his editor's like, well, this guy looks dumb as hell. And he's like, all right, well, good thing he has another form, because... Like, I mean, Frieza's got, like, six. Yeah, like, like... Every character in Dragon Ball has, like, 19 forms. But that, like, why, don't you, why, don't you, why don't you start like that? Start in your perfect form. Where's that fucking editor now being like, hey, we need new forms? Like, And they're like, no, 
Hair. Color, yeah, colors. Hair color. That's um, it. That's all we're doing. But at least with the superhero movie, Gohan got like super pointy hair. Not he got enough. like original Vash hair from, <laughs> yeah. from Trigun. Yeah, but like that's why the androids aren't so bad. Like they feel like main antagonists because they intentionally were. Yeah. Um. But Android 15, I think, whatever the clown one the, is. The the white one. Yeah. That yeah. guy's nothing. That guy's literally Jero, like. And then the Jero, because yeah. he was like also partly an android. They just yeah. absolutely pieced him. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone who gets pieced is like. <laughs> 16. 16 was a cool guy. 16 was cool. He's just he like lasted. birds. Yeah. And he, he becomes like clearly, an ally. He was very clearly just Lenny. <laughs> he was just Lenny. He's very Lenny. He's very yeah. the Terminator. I don't know if I see the Terminator. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I guess it kind of was. Yeah, he was just like kind of like scanning yeah. things. Then he blew up in the end. Yeah. Kind of like Terminator 2. Um, so my last thing from my training arc is... Oh, wait. No, I did have one, but I think we should save it for next episode. Okay. Because it's a really good question. Nice. Um, but my last thing is I did the American Ninja Warrior. Oh, that's uh, right. I made a TikTok about it. I tagged Danny and I told everybody to tag you uh-huh. until you do it. Uh, Dog, that looked easy peasy. It was not. I was the only person at the park who could do it. I could clear that. I okay. I clear it in seconds. So for those of you who I've don't, got an extra, th- what, three feet on you also? Uh, that's a whole... A loose two that, inches. That's a whole extra step. I, I just throw in the garbage. Guarantee the two inches you have, maybe, maybe an inch and a half, will not overcome the difference in our athletics. Easy. You won't find easier peas. I, if you do it... Yeah. You I'll can name it. all of it. If you do it, you can name the next 10 episodes. Next I'm, 10. I'm going to show up. I'm going to make you shake my hand. I'm going to pull out a new like Beyblade with a spring on it. Yeah, it's like, fucking, it's like, like razor yeah. blades around the sides. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Step up, bitch. Yeah. And just like, put your hand in there. Yeah. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> hand- I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, loser puts their hand in. That's, yeah. That's hardcore. So I could do everything at this Ninja Warrior Park, which is down in Santa Ana in, in, uh, in, in beautiful mm. California. It's in a mall in Santa Ana. Beautiful yeah. California. More yeah. like fucking rainy California. Oh, boo. It's been pouring we for come from six the east. months. Dude, we, come, we come from the East Coast. It rains all the time. Yeah. We needed it. We I do. escaped. This I is, tried to escape. This has been Uncle Corner, where Nick and Danny talk about the weather. You're welcome. <laughs> um, So I did every single thing. So I think I could win American Ninja Warrior. At least I think I the could do well. The logic is sound. I think I could do well. It's, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. there's a park filled with Ninja Warrior yeah. things. I could do every single one. I, I'm not being sarcastic. Yeah. Yeah, that logic makes sense. I could 100% do that wall, though. I think we should I'm go. I'm clearing that wall. I think Let's we should go. go. Let's go. Oh, I already see the Touching Grass title now. Nick and Danny, the boys, become ninjas. <laughs> Are we going to show up with headbands? Absolutely. Like assholes? I wonder how many people do that. There was not a singular person there who did it. So in the grand scheme of the building's life, I mean, you know, it was really funny, though. What? So me and Dorothy get there. She's wearing athletic gear. I'm wearing athletic gear. We're taking this so, way too seriously. Yeah. Didn't realize it's like kind of a kid's thing until we got there. <laughs> we thought it was going to be like super serious stuff to the gills with children. So then I don't think you can do American no, Ninja Warrior. Stupid, if you're doing the, the stupid little kids American Child Warrior. They couldn't do half the things. Listen, it was like, listen, there was adults there as well um, who were trying to do things. And that's where the story is going. There's this group of friends there. And this kid just, like, gets up. He's doing them. He's super stoked. They just got there. Uh Uh-huh. He, like, does the thing where there's, like, slanted... There's, like, slanted things. Uh Uh-huh. Like, and they're kind of, like, like stacked out where you have to jump across them. You go from, like, slant to slant to slant. It's, like, the first thing they do in American Ninja Warrior. So he does that. He's feeling himself. He gets up on this, like, two-foot, like, cushion platform because everything's cushion. And he's like, oh, man, that was so easy. Goes to jump off the platform, rolls his ankle. Just, just see, I saw his ankle. His ankle hits the floor, blown out. He's just like, ah! Oh! It's just like, it's like oh! Dorothy's fucking sweating. Dorothy was so scared she was gonna hurt herself. She still has nails on. She has fake nails. She's like, that's like, that's like in a movie when someone enters a temple or whatever, and they're yeah. like, this will be a piece of cake, and then step some, on this some nameless extra like takes a step and gets decapitated. Yeah. That'd be like me. If you guys bring me, I'd be like, all right, guys, easy peasy. And I take a step and I just like slide in half like a samurai, just sheathed his sword. Knees just like, go backwards. Yeah. So this kid's just like, oh, and Dorothy's like, oh God, is he okay? And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, we're fine. We're fine. Helicopter so- comes in and like puts him down. <laughs> <laughs> put him yeah. out of his misery so he's there with a date and i see like i just see the date just like her face just wet i was like dorothy if that ever wow. like, if that's ever me like just leave me i was yeah. like just leave me i would love that as a first off if you're bringing a date that you aren't three years in the relationship yeah. with to american ninja warrior jr 
What are you doing? I what is that date? Low key could be an incredible first date. I would never. If, I like, can never. I never want to do anything above like just seeing a movie together you, on say, a first date. Well, that's because you couldn't do the wall. See me, I bring a first date. She sees me do the wall. No, date, absolutely. No woman wants that, to see you do the wall. Absolutely. Dorothy was impressed. Oh yeah. She was like, "Wow, babe, that was impressive." Was but like, you guys are nice. in. You're in deep. She knows everything else. If you're like, if it's like, "Hi, I'm Nick Connor. Want to see me bust that wall?" I wouldn't be the first thing. I'd be like, "Oh, ha, ha, let's see you try and do the rope thing. I'll help you. You know, I help. I stand there. I try and uh, help her. Yeah. And then I'm like, "Oh no, this wall. How did it get there? Let me get that real quick." She snags it. She knows I can. I can provide. Ginormous red flag. Absolute green flag. I think all a woman wants is for me to like bring her back to my house and do uninterrupted commentary through an entire film that i've chosen <laughs> you're watching you're watching lord of the rings like vigo morgeson actually broke his toes there did you know that did you know, know that you're three and a half hours into the extended edition I, of lord of the rings know, i throw on lord of the rings like she leans back and she's like your place is so nice i'm like yeah yeah gandalf <laughs> more like getting me off <laughs> like just like, what are, is this a bit? It's like, what is this? this is a, where are the cameras? What's yeah, going I'm on like, here? You don't know who I am? You're like an hour and a half in, your voice is toast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You know? yeah, by the end, I'm like, you want to guess? <laughs> Ball rock? More like, yeah. my balls are raw. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> It's an aggressive I, date that we're describing. Yeah, so it was just hilarious to yeah. watch. And I was like, Dor, if that's that happened tough. to me, what would happen? She was like, I would get the ick immediately. And I was like, that's so yeah. tough. That's so tough. So yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go be ninjas in a touching grass so episode. Funny. We're going to do it together. Um, I just can't get over like... <laughs> being like, like, yeah, so I'll, I'll go first, like suss it out. And yeah. then like, you just follow my... <laughs> you just like... And you, hold on, I have to get through this bit. I have to see it through. You're making me fuck off. And he's All like, right. and he's like, it's like, yeah, I'll just, uh, you should follow my lead. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Can you see the bone? It's so bad. He's like, not, he's like, not cool about it. <laughs> he like crap. Mom! Like, grab yes, Get my phone! She's one on speed <laughs> dial! <laughs> She's like, looks down. It's like, it's okay. Uh, so, no, 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 no! <laughs> Cut it off! Cut it off! Oh, fuck! My oh. God. Oh, no. That's so funny. I feel so bad She's for She's like, oh, God, I feel so bad for him. All right, should we, should we do our best boys? I think we should end the podcast. <laughs> we it's like, what what's worth listening to at this point? Okay. <laughs> my best boy of the week is also tied into the story, so it works. Uh, my best boy of the week is my self-confidence. Uh, because... Fuck. Because... Man uh, of the people. I saw everybody else struggle to get the wall. I snagged that hole. Uh, I was like, five, seven, and I could do it. <laughs> I'm so, going to like take you somewhere we're gonna like go ride jet skis or something and i'm gonna replace all the fluid with, with orange juice okay just just so there's something you're bad at your first try i actually own a jet ski and i'm very good at it I so hate you. i grew up on a lake i'm sorry uh, i can also wakeboard and water ski <sighs> and tube and you kind of so we're gonna either like slash your tires your achilles heel depending on what i don't know what slashing my tires would be like oh no i'm bad at <laughs> having inflated tires like what <laughs> bad at filling my tires so we're, who's your best boy my best boy is i guess beyblade um okay but just so we have something new mm -hmm. uh my friend texted me this morning and was like you should check out this new manga okay. that is out oh god called <laughs> called um let me see it's oh Goku, Gokuraku guy, Gokuraku guy. First try. Check it out. This is what it looks like. The art. Gokuraku guy. Yeah. The art is super cool. Oh my god, this looks sick. It's very new. Um, seven chapters are out, or six chapters are out right In now. In the seventy-one page chapters. Yeah, first one is seventy-one pages. What's the second one? I don't know. This woman like is that. so bad. <laughs> she's so sick, right? Oh my goodness. So, she, you know what she looks like? Laura Croft. She's a very like Bayonetta kind of vibe uh -huh. going on. But it's it's like your classic like Jujutsu Kaisen, your classic Chainsaw Man where it's like a, an agency that just like fights demons or curses or whatever. Gotcha. Like it is bare bones that. Mm -hmm. Which like not complicated at all. Like, yeah, it like... The first chapter is a bit of a bummer because it's just that. And I was like, oh, it's kind of whatever. But the character designs 
are so cool. Yeah. The art is so sick. Mm -hmm. And apparently these six chapters were like a one-off. It was like a one-off manga shoot gotcha. um, that is being revived. So like they just put out the six chapters on Viz and on Shonen Jump. Mm -hmm. And then next week they're going to put out a chapter seven. Mm -hmm. So this came out like an, a year or so ago. Um, so I'm hoping that like, the story's not all there because it was just this little condensed thing. And then now they're like, oh, we're going to expand it. Mm. And so chapter seven will hopefully be like new better. story that we haven't seen yeah. thus far. Yeah. So I'm hoping it gets better. Is How my did he point. hear about this? There's just so many manga that come out every day. Just if you go on the Viz app, it just advertises stuff. It's like latest it, chapters. Yeah. That's how I found out about uh, Kaiju number eight. Oh, did I have actual that? physical copies of Kaiju number eight. Oh my God. Yeah. I have one and two right here. I haven't read them yet. But it's, I own them. It's funny and it's good. I have like a bit of an issue with the art because the art's really good, but it's very clearly like digital, which is like makes sense. And it's, it's not like hand drawn. Yeah. Which is like, again, it's way healthier for like the manga. Yeah, I'm sure. like it should probably be the way that the yeah. entire like. What's the yeah. word I'm looking for here? Industry. Industry yeah. goes. Absolutely. But, but there's just such a charm to like. Actually, th drawn. this is also why I don't love solo leveling because it looks very oh solo leveling. It's so processed it's color. looking, but that's because it's in color. and also it's color. Yeah, yeah, it's just like there's something so sick about like Vinland Saga or like where I'm at in One Piece, yeah. where it's just you see little like flecks and lines that are like maybe unintentional, but you just see like the artist's touch. It is very clearly like it's like, like digital, like yeah. it is processed. It, it reads closer to a comic than right. like than like actual manga. Right. And there, I do love solo. Leveling. And there's no like to any like digital art is like the way to go. It's yeah. way better. It's like it's easier. Yeah. You can just like fill colors. You can blend. There's Yeah. There's like a ton of like there's a lot more possibilities. It's cheaper, which is great. Yeah. Um, because you don't have the supplies. Like once you buy the program, you're good you're to fine. go. Yep. But uh, you need that little sleeve. Yeah, the little yeah, hand you need a little sleeve. sleeve. Yeah, so exactly. Cute. Um, so it's not like you know, I'm not like oh, hand drawn is better, but it's just like hand drawn purist. I, yeah, if if I'm reading manga, that's just my like, I eat that up. Like mm. I love Vinland Saga, looking so fucking like great, like a million shades of gray, and it's all like you see like the tips of someone's fingers have a little like brush stroke because like yeah. they fucked up a little. Like mm -hmm. I love that. I love seeing the interesting, the dirtiness. Of I, it. I guess it's kind of like, it's like people who are like, Oh, I like listening to vit like vinyl. Yeah. It's exactly. like, I like, yeah. I like to feel you like, like hearing the, the grain. Yeah. Exactly. Like the grit and the grain, which I understand. But like, I think as an industry it probably will shift to digital yeah. art in the future. Cause like a lot of like web comics nowadays, like, the industry is shifting closer to web comics nowadays with yeah. like how accessible they are and how easy they are to make for everybody. Right, right. Like close, close personal friend of mine, Tony Weaver. Uh, he is he made his own web comic and it's getting serialized into a manga here pretty soon. Um, but like it's just easier with like digital art, yeah. like to tell that story to get those stories out. And so like as art is becoming easier to obtain through the internet i think like digital art will pick up a lot of the slack no i like feel that and because I, if we were to make brawl and chain yeah it would be digital for be sure all we digital, would hire a digital sure. artist yeah. and they would bang it out yeah no 100 percent. and i get the appeal like my hero i believe is digital just from how you can like almost tell it's like because things look a little 3d and it's huh. not that they're 3d but it's like I don't. I could be wrong, but something about the shading. I'm like, this is like digital as hell. Like, I can't imagine Dr. Horikoshi Stone. is like falling apart at the seams if it's digital. Though. Like <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not, well, I'm not trying to mock still, like, digital artists. But takes like, a long time. It's still hard. Yeah. Like, but I mean, like, I don't know. I, digital allows for like a bit more detail. Um, oh yeah, for sure. But like, yeah. So I see the appeal. Because like the time that you like like erasing, you don't need to erase. You just. Yeah tap a line and it's gone no, or go sure. back a couple things or you can like even like they have like ai generated models now where you can like rotate or like set us like a light source mm -hmm. and it like cast perfect light and shadows so like right i, I would never even uh, begin to say that i could do digital art i can't but like if i was to draw my own manga it would be in digital yeah, art. yeah for sure so your best boy is goku Ra yeah Raku I guess, guy. yeah i guess it's goku raku guy because it's not bad it's pretty cool and i love the art Okay, not bad. A not bad manga suggestion, I, ladies and gentlemen. I would check it out. I'm, you know, I'm pickier than most. Like, That's fair. Um, don't love. It's very Jujutsu Kaisen mm -hmm. and a little like Mob I love, Psycho. I love that it's it's very Jujutsu Kaisen and it's not. It's very Bleach. But yeah, 
It is very bleak. It's yeah. like anything where it's like we're a we're an organization that takes down like these fucking ghosts. And, yeah, yeah. like ghosts. It's Ghostbusters anime version. It's so weird that that's like huge now too. Like, and it, I guess it was it's always premise, kind of. And there's big. a lot of ways to change it. You know? Yeah, it's just like I don't. I always like don't love anytime they're like yeah like let, other than chainsaw man like the, i love the monster designs in chainsaw man okay but they're but not any, ghosts they're closer devils. to devils yeah devil zombies but it's like anytime there's the like it's like oh we gotta fight an, an s class one and it's like a big like berserk monster mm -hmm. i'm like this is way less interesting than like a guy you know like i guess because it's just then, like, like a demon slayer demon which is like a cool designed like six-eyed human dude. Yeah, basically like yeah. a humanoid thing like i just am not so into like a big like worm monster yeah you know bleach actually does that kind of well because they have like menos grande and then they have like uh pacifista not pacifistas that's one piece um but like as they get stronger the the ghosts get stronger they get more humanoid that's sick. so like that's the cool. strongest yeah. ones are humanoid like right. the the uh the espada are all like humanoid. Yeah, yeah yeah uh so that's cool but like there's like these like menos grandes one which are like 400 feet tall and they're like the foot soldiers of the bad guys yeah so like that's like the foot soldiers of the hollows basically right right but yeah so i'd, I'd like recommend it to anyone who's into like jujutsu kaisen or bleach or stuff like that cool so do we do our flashback episode uh i did mine which you is did yours Horikoshi is ill speaking of jujutsu kaisen yes uh it's ending this year what do you mean the, the manga? manga yeah the manga's ending this year which is funny because you were talking about how Sekuna's on a tear right now. Oh, so no. it's coming to a close. Oh, mm -hmm. Gigi, no. <laughs> oh, that's that's confirmed. Allegedly. That's not good. No. That's arguably bad. Oh, no. The, the good guys may not win. <laughs> I don't. Jeez. The good guys may not. I. It's not. Listen, but there's the, so much year left. There's a ton of year left. Does it come out monthly or weekly? Uh, it's, I think it's weekly. I I I think I think it's been weekly for a while, but it might be bi-weekly, uh, which well, I guess we can calculate how many more chapters we have. Uh, it is very much weekly and has been for a long time. Mm -hmm. So that means we have what thirty chapters left. Yeah, that's a lot of chapters. It's not enough. <laughs> it's not a, like it's it's not. Oh God. Um. That's wrapping a lot up in 30 chapters. I mean, he, he makes like 14 page 50. Yeah, they're regular chapters, like 15 pages. Yeah. Um, but the uh, bad guys are very much winning currently damn. and have been for the last like 30 chapters. But I feel like like a fight. I don't know. 30 chapters is a lot. It's just like it's like a whole like two arcs. No, I guess I could see how it could end this year. I do. It's just like the bad guy needs to get bad guying and the bad guy is like two or three chapters away from bad guy. Right. And we already know the final bad guy. Uh -huh. Like we know the final bad guy. So like, and it's like two final bad guys working together as the big final bad guy. So if Itadori and the rest of the good guys battle against, like if that's where this is going, it's like all of the good guys are battling. Like once these two bad guys become fully realized, then there'll be a big final battle, I guess. And that final battle will probably be 10 or 12 chapters. Uh -huh. And then it'll end oh god there's just that's a lot that's big news that's really big news yeah that's crazy yeah isn't that wild oh my god i thought we had two or three more years with jjk shit no that's crazy i mean you know things are always subject to change so like, they are at chapter for jjk they're at chapter 216 right now which would mean that we would probably end around 250 yeah i think that would be like final resting place 250 i think the anime is at chapter 60 right now nice so, so the like, anime, it's like six seasons yeah anime is way behind it's mm -hmm. way behind <laughs> But well, that's better I'm, than being I'm caught up. Really not excited for anime only watchers. It's <laughs> no. just it's a tough manga. Really? It, the manga is pain. In what way? Like yeah, sad? Don't get attached to anybody. Oh, but that's good. People like that. I love it. I yeah. love JJK is fastly becoming one of my favorite mangas of all time. Right. But it hurts. Like yeah. favorite characters just bye bye. Like yeah. it was nice knowing you. Like and it's not even if they don't die, they lose their powers or they just get mutilated. Right. Like it's just Jeez pain wild. that's wild that's gonna so 250 chapters if it's about 60 chapters a season that would put us at yeah like five seasons yeah which is not they'd be like 100 bad. 120 that's, episodes it's that's MJ nice, adjacent yeah it's a nice healthy amount of like yeah, seasons content here because yeah. it, it didn't get a manga i think it had a manga for like four years before it even got uh an anime because i was in chapter like 140 and they were doing like a we got an anime <laughs> thing which would be like three like three years into them running it yeah so that's 
wild. Season two is like out in April, right? Yes. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy April. It's a crazy yeah. spring season because we Demon get JJK. Demon Slayer, JJK. And... So excited. This has been kind of an intermediary yeah. anime season, I would say. Yeah. Like there's like, obviously like Vin, like, like Stampede, Trigun Stampede is here. No one's here. talking about any of them though. Like Trigun doesn't have a lot of. No. no. Yeah. No one's talking about Trigun anymore. Buddy Daddy's went up and then it's you know flatlined in terms of media the biggest buddy daddy's defender <laughs> yeah. oh my god i carried the flag of that show nobody but me has talked about high card which i'm loving i still need to watch that honestly. high card is sick yeah. it's very cool we'll see how it goes it's a season for seasoned dweebs yeah like you have to be desperate for content like yeah. i need to like you need to well, want to watch anime this to season. be fair though i needed this after october which was nuts which was unbelievable it was Unrelenting. spy family and honestly genuinely thank god spy family started copywriting everything and like tanking in quality because I was, I had my plate goddamn full. Mm -hmm. So Spy Family, well, Bleach happened. Mm -hmm. My Hero, mm -hmm. Blue Lock. Yep. There were seven. Blue Chainsaw Lock. Man. Blue Lock's last episode is next week. Oh hype! Yeah, episode twenty four. It's gonna That's be ended there. Five on five against Ren. Do you hear there. Blue Lock also in news is like the biggest manga right now. It's massive. Bandai it's Bandai ginormous. Bandai is crushing it. Yeah. The anime doesn't look great. There is a lot of CGI running. But There's a. But it looks good when it needs to. They're yeah. doing fine. I don't know. It's a bit. It's, it's, it's a bit flashcardy for me. It's like it's like Invincible, where like if you look for it, it looks bad. I guess. I just think a a a Aoshi something mm -hmm. Aoshi whatever Aoshi is like the blueprint for how I think a soccer anime should look. Oh yeah. And it was all two D. Um. And there wasn't like all the blue lock. I like blue lock. I'm not saying I don't, but like it just feels like talking. Yeah. I just like, oh, he's going to kick it. And it's it's the Kurokuro's basketball formula. But Kurokuro's had six scenes where it was like, bat, like like dribbling behind her back, just absolutely blowing past somebody, like posterizing ducks. Yeah. Like we get cool goals yeah. in Blue Lock, but like it just feels like it's like, oh, face, face, CGI run, kick, goal. I get, I'm, I watch it as if I'm watching a psychological horror though. Like they're, Fair. Like, I think the dialogue's great and I really like the character dynamics. Like, yeah. so I'm not really... You know, and I'm not a big soccer fan, so it's like if a dude does a somersault, like whatever. Yeah, or like if somebody does like an around the world, or like there was yeah. like Bachiro was doing like some incredible dribbling in this most recent episode, and it was really cool. It's just like I don't know. I wish we didn't rely as heavily on CGI in no, it. It's and tough. It, yeah. it is getting memed for it a little bit. Um, but yeah, so so Blue Lock's been great, and I'm happy for him. Uh, no one's talking about Tokyo Avengers, uh, mostly because no one's watching. Yeah, it. yeah. What the hell? It's on. It's on Hulu. That's why. It's massive in Japan. That's yeah. the thing. It's massive in Japan. It's on literally every single advertisement is Tokyo Avengers. Yeah. It's in the buses. They have them all dressed up as like bus drivers nice. and all that. It's like Demon Slayer and Tokyo Avengers. I, re I remember hearing that Tokyo Avengers was having a tough time getting localized because of the swastikas. Oh, yeah, yeah. The manji. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was wondering if that was like if they just whoever was fighting them the first mm. go was like we don't want to do it anymore like no yeah. no more advertising tokyo avengers in america see yeah no i don't think because like i know people who have been selling like tokyo avengers yeah. jackets and either they have the manji and like they have to explain to every yeah. single person like not a nazi yeah. or they just take the manji out yeah because yeah, yeah. like manji is a, it's a buddhist symbol yeah um used usually to denote like where temples are on and maps. it's not canted like no. the swastika is like a diagonal and they as if a di it. as if it's a diamond yeah but the yeah and they flipped it yeah but the manji is like a square the first time i went to taiwan i was with like my best friend maybe from i high shouldn't school. be drawing yeah he's like oh, like <laughs> this like give me, give me a here. pad and paper yeah exactly here i'll draw it out for you yeah uh first time i went to taiwan uh with my best friend from high school he was uh, he was taiwanese and i was driving and i saw a flag with a massive manji and i was like <laughs> It's like you guys have those out here too. I was yeah. like, I feel like they wouldn't like it here. I don't. I just. I don't. Feels like the wrong environment for them. I was, uh -huh. I was like, you, you got three friends in this country. Yeah. What's going on here? And they're like, oh yeah, it's a Buddhist thing. Hitler stole it. And I was like, yeah. ah. So yeah, Tough. I learned. I became cultured. So that's our flashback episode. Do we do our? It's all right. I have one. I have one. I have one. So uh, Minty, she's a mod of yours. Minty. Min Min Minty. No, she is not. M I N T H E, mint. No, well, show me. Mint. No, nothing there. Mint. No. Not not a mod of yours. What, what's right. the thing? Tell me. All right, thought she was a mod of yours. Um, mint asks, uh, uh, which animated Disney princess is your favorite? Uh, for does Moana count? Absolutely, Moana counts. If not Moana, who counts? Yeah. Um, 
Uh, Mulan. She's a badass wow. and has the highest kill count. Mulan's killed people? Mulan's killed thousands of people. Really? She There's that bit where the Huns are coming, uh-huh. and uh, they're like, what are we going to do? And they're in a snowy area. Mm-hmm. She grabs a firework, and she lights it, and it... Oh, she avalanches and them. she avalanches yeah, them, yeah, and yeah. they die. They, like... There's tons of casualties. I think the assumption is that they like they don't die, but they dead. say the casualties. They're like we've lost X Men. <laughs> Mulan's a murderer. Mulan's got a huge. Mulan's a soldier. I love. True, honestly, yeah. she is good for her. Uh, great choices, fantastic choices. I would have to say if it's not Moana for me, because let's be real, Moana is the best. Moana's great. It's a great she, movie. Yeah. The soundtrack, fire. Yeah, Lin Manuel so Miranda. What? Lin Manuel Miranda did. I hate to give him that credit. Damn. I hate Lin Manuel. Like he's just he's just so He's he, such a dork. He insists upon himself, Shut Lois. Up. <laughs> um if it's not Moana, it's Elsa. I know it's a oh, I know it's a I know it's a boo. milk toast answer. Boo. But Frozen soundtrack, Ugh. best soundtrack in Disney history. I gotta get my niece on this podcast. I didn't realize she, she big was Frozen girl? Yeah, I didn't realize she was your demographic. The second Frozen came out, the second it came to DVD, me and my roommate, sophomore year of high school, watched it three nights in a row. Ugh, I don't I like Frozen. Go. I don't even get Frozen. What do you mean? I don't get the hype. What do you mean you get like what do you, it's like not it's almost like Jujutsu Kaisen for me. It's where I'm the, like, not only am I lukewarm on this, I don't even understand where the like hype is from. No, so Elsa and her her sister. Yeah. Total forget her name. Um, Anna. Anna. I don't even like it. Now I know. That's Mr. I, super fan. Listen, we, we split our knowledge 50-50. Uh-huh. You get some things, I get some things. <laughs> okay. You, li- listen, whenever I need knowledge. That trivia isn't like custody. Yes, it is. No. You get it on weekends. I get it on yeah, weekends. So. Well, unfortunately, it's a weekday for me right now. Yeah. But so just incredible soundtrack. Good bad guy. Uh, satisfying ending. Great sequel. I haven't seen it. There's the snowman guy. Uh uh-huh. there's the there's the uh the very Swedish people who are in the summer, like in the summer hut. Like just incredible. But yeah, if it's not Moana, it's Elsa. I like I remember there was a movement where people were like, Why does everyone love Frozen? Big summer Tang- blowout, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Tangled's better. A lot of people were like, Tangled's better. And then I saw a Tangled. I was like, maybe that's it. Maybe I just don't like Frozen and Tangled's gonna be my bag. Tangled sucks. I haven't even seen it. Hot take, Tangled's bad. You know what did suck? The Encanto. animation. Kanto. And Kanto? Bad. No. Garbage. Not Garbage. As, not as good. It's not like, you know, it's not it's like not, The Incredibles. Yeah. But like, not bad. It's just that I, listen, if I'm watching a Disney princess movie, yeah. I want an incredible soundtrack. Encanto's soundtrack, garbage. Encanto's soundtrack is so good. One good song. Wait. You know nothing about Bruno. That one's great. You know nothing. No, about are you? We you, don't talk, we about, don't talk Bruno. about Bruno. That's the one good song. That one's good. The first one, The Family Madrigal. That one's great. The only other one I would possibly let slip into this conversation is the one where it's like, you gotta uh, stop to the tick tick. It's like the big, the big strong the big sister. Girl? Yeah. yeah. Louisa? Yeah. That one's great too. That's the only other one I would say is even remotely good. That's like three out of five songs. No, I listen, I'm saying we don't talk about Bruno. Good. The the the, the Louisa song, okay. Everything else, mid. Insane takes. Listen, I'm just saying like compared to the tracks of Frozen and Moana, not even close. Frozen's are not good. Let it go. You, that's it. And it's Do not you even that build good. A snowman. That one's good. Okay, fair. Fine. Uh, and then Love's an open door. Boring as hell. Incredible. Let song. it go and love is an open door. Boring as hell. Oh my god. You need that Lin Manuel spice, you know? You need that no, sassiness. No, I don't need to hear about history in America through rap. You need right? Lin Manuel coming in like, I'm a nice guy with a nice af- the hair. I would he doesn't I have just, an afro. I wish I, I could go back in high school that. to bully him. Like I was bullied in high school, but <laughs> I, I would I would bully him. I don't think he needs it from you. That guy I was know, definitely sh- bullied. Oh my god, he got stuffed in so many lockers, and I love that for him. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my favorite. Do you have a question that you wanted Fuck, to do? That's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want me? To, do you want me to toss one? Do to another. You? Do another. Yeah, hit me. Oh, never mind. I don't have one. <laughs> Somebody just sent a message about how they love the great videos in the love letters chat, and I was like, oh, it's right here. That's no, so nice. Absolutely nothing. Um. No, hold we can on. just end on Disney princesses. No, I'm on. very down for just Disney princesses. All right, fine. Cody asks, who is your anime crush? Nice. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, I got you. Uh, my anime crush mm-hmm. was... His is Faye Valentine, by the way, because he's old. Current or growing up? I would say current. Yeah, hammer it currently. I, mine's problematic as hell. Um, he, he You're like Anya. Himino. <laughs> Himino yeah. Toga? Uh, Wait, no, Himino. From Chainsaw Man. 
Oh yeah, that's not problem. That's not problematic. She's like a rapist. That <laughs> Denji is technically <laughs> legal in Japan. Denji's hate be, sixteen. Hate to be that guy. She even mentions she'll get thrown in jail. Oh really? Yeah, cause she's like, I'm 24 and you're 16. They will throw me because she. He wakes up afterwards and she's like, Hey, we didn't do anything, did we? And he yeah. was like. No, nah, I'm into blah, blah. And she's like, good. They throw people in prison for doing that. Good. Not great. But like, but I like love a woman with an eye patch and a cigarette problem. I know. Well, I was so, I was like, nope. Like I'm like, I'm glad the show like acknowledges and like treats it very seriously. Yeah. And I was like, that's hype. That's great. Love it. Love all this good stuff job. for Denji's Probably character. Probably shouldn't have put him in that situation anyways. <laughs> Cause it would have happened if she was like just a little bit less drunk. I know. I love, I like the, I like all of what it means for his character and everything. And then mm. I'm like, you know, like I'm off board of the Himino uh, train. Wow. And then she just keeps being cute. And yeah. so that's tough. That was hard for me mm. because then she's like, I, I want to help me get with Aki. And he's like, what do you like about Aki? And she's like his face. And I was like, stop. I relate. Stop. I relate. Stop. You, you can do an Aki cosplay. Paternity. I don't have the... You can grow it out a little bit. I guess so. I think you could do it. I guess so. I think we get you a little suit. Little suit? Yeah. I get, would kill a little suit. Yeah. We just get you just, uh, I, I have a suit over there. It'll probably fit you. I feel like we're probably close to I size. feel like I could more do whoever trains Denji and Power. That oh, dude, that. the, yeah, the, the blonde guy. Yeah, the yeah. Rise Against singer. You ever listen to Rise Against? I've listened to Rise Against, absolutely. He looks just like him. I do not I remember what the visually. lead singer of Rise Against looks like. I would sing my anime crush, personally. Oh, man. it's It, it kind of oscillates between Robin and Ez Death. Um, long story short, I, I want a large Robin's one. great. Yeah. By the way. Um, oh, it does kind of look it like him. Like yeah. He's giving the yeah. scar. I actually yeah. remember exactly what he looks like. Uh, but yeah, so either Robin or as death, I think is currently mine. Uh, as death is like my unhinged choice. Uh, cause I'm like, Oh my God, I want to be frozen by her. Uh, and then Robin, I'm like, that's just, that's a, that's a whole mother. She, <laughs> Robin's a milf, man. She's 32. She's six foot two. Robin is so, but like the application of her power. Yeah. She's all hands. She's all body parts. She can make clones of herself now. Hype. Yeah. All hype stuff. Which all would very be hot incredible. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's just awesome. I remember like thinking that where I was like, I met her in the manga and she mm. was doing making arms and shit. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's kind of hot. Yeah. And she snapped a dude in half. And I was like, that's good. That's she's good. she's killed like thousands of people. She kills people in such a fucking cool way. <laughs> She's so sick. She's the great equalizer because, like, it doesn't matter how strong your devil fruit is. She can just grow arms on you and snap yeah. your neck. I think I texted you when I was still in Connecticut and we, like, weren't friends yet. I mm. was like, yo, this Robin chick, though. Pretty nice. Yeah, and she you're also, like, nice lukewarm opinion. Yeah, <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, I feel like, welcome yeah. to everybody on Earth. Yeah. But, so, she also has this move in the new One Piece Odyssey game. And it's, like, also, like in one piece as well but she makes giant feet and squishes people with them and everybody's wow. just been like me <laughs> me, <laughs> me. <laughs> please <laughs> yeah. so either as wow. that or robin and that's it that's everything we have for that's the week. a whole ass podcast one whole episode thank you guys so much for checking in with us this week um for a best ever episode that danny's gonna name that's right uh, I so so whatever whatever it's named uh that's danny's doing i've been nick aka nc hammer 23 remember guys uh if you are watching this you can listen to the podcast on places like spotify and apple podcasts in case you don't want to be driving around with your phone out uh and if you are listening we have a video forum over on youtube so really you get to consume the podcast in any way that you want also make sure you guys follow our highlights page if an hour and 40 minute podcast is a lot for you to digest. We release 10 minute segments of every single podcast episode. So the entirety of the episode gets released in highlights. So you get it in a more digestible form. Also make sure to follow all of our social medias where we post three shorts a week on TikTok, Instagram, and End of I guess YouTube list. as well. Oh, so YouTube yeah, that's, shorts, that's, yeah. that's it as well. Uh, Daniel. Uh, I've been Danny Mata. You can find me on YouTube or at your local uh, playground scamming kids out of their uh, lunch money with Beyblades. Baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. That or Beggar's Dice. Yeah or, yeah, or Liar's Dice. Yeah, yeah. Um, as Danny Mata on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. And Thank you me. all. See you next week. Bye. 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 And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the